Hi guys, it's Hanif from Eclipse All Sports and I just wanted to bring you another quick Kipax review. So today we're going to be looking at the Players Edition Genesis in the red sticker colourway. Um, so we're going to start off with this absolute stunner. So if this was a beauty competition, I would say this one would probably take first prize. Beautiful looking grains, absolutely stunning. We'll try and count them up for you. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 grains. Tiny little bit of hardwood there on the right hander's outside edge. Absolutely monster bat. So yeah, not only is it stunning, it's got really big specs as well. You've got a 40mm edge, a 65mm spine. Uh, this is in the Colossus shape, as signified by that sticker there. And if you have a look down that spine, you can see it's concaved. So the wood's been taken out of the back to keep the weight down and um, to give it a lovely light pickup. So those grains are perfect through the toe and a nice thick toe. Nice thick shoulders you can see there as well. A square block style at the bottom but goes to a semi oval just around there. You've got that Wave X ripple handle. Basically that is there to divert any vibration or any power lost through the handle. It basically bounces those vibrations back down into the blade and transfers any of that energy loss back into the ball so you get maximum power in your shots. So with the normal handle you get power transfer loss which goes up into the handle and sometimes goes into your hand and can be quite uncomfortable. Um, so that's the thinking behind the handle. You've got one black rubber insert in the handle. Uh, so that's something interesting to note as well. A lot of bats tend to have three cork or three rubber and some have five cork and that's just to reduce vibrations in the handle but obviously with Kipax having this Wavex handle design they only need to have the one rubber insert. Um, so yeah moving on to the rest and you've got a nice bow down towards the toe, nice flat face. Uh, these edges are going to need a little bit more work but like I say we will provide free oiling and knocking in. So this one is weighing 28.8 ounce and that is including the scuff sheet so you're looking at just over 2.8 without the scuff sheet, so we'll see how it picks up. Yeah, feels really light. Lovely balance and pick up, really nice feel. Probably feels no heavier than 2.7 I would say. Feels lovely in the hands. So incidentally the blade length of the bat is slightly shorter, but you've got a standard length short handle. So the overall length is around about a centimetre shorter than a standard cricket bat. And that certainly helps with the balance and the pickup. But if you're someone that's um, over six foot and you would like it to be a standard length, so we can get that ordered up directly from Kipax, that's not a problem. So we'll just see how this one taps up. And just so you know, we're going to be using an old cricket ball as well. So, yeah, not only does it look good, not only does it have big specs. Pick up well, but it goes like an absolute train. So yeah, that's a fantastic bat. So that is cricket bat number one. And let's see what we've got with cricket bat number two. So again, we've got stunning grains, absolutely beautiful. Really nice looking bat. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains on this one. And yeah, really nice looking bat. So we'll just have a look at the profile shape. So you've got a 39 millimeter edge a 61mm spine. It does look like you've got a slight duckbill toe there. The spine doesn't quite run as far down into the toe as on the other bat. So a slight duckbill toe, but a nice thick profile all the way up, nice thick shoulders. And you've got a semi-oval at the bottom and then it goes towards this ripple design there. Um, so if you look down the spine there, you can see you've got a heavy concave to help keep the weight down. Those grains are going nicely through the toe and a really nice thick toe. So this one is weighing 27.1 ounce on the scales. So yeah, you're getting a beautiful looking bat, big edges, pretty good sized spine, and a lot of wood in the bat for 271, and that's including the scuff sheet and the fiber edge tape. So you're looking at around 26.6 without the scuff sheet fitted. So yeah, it's impressive. Balance and pickup wise, yeah, it feels, like a feather guys it's hard to say what it picks up like um, because I've never used anything as light as this but it picks up really light so if you're looking for something light and you want you're an adult looking for a light cricket bat 
and you're struggling to find anything that fits your specs. I know we don't get many light bats in stock and certainly not as big as this. Um, so yeah, if you're one of those customers that want something light, then I would certainly recommend taking a closer look at this particular bat. Um, it comes through the shops really well. So we'll just see how it taps up with the old ball. So yeah, no great surprise guys, these all ping fantastically well. These were all handpicked from the Kipax factory earlier this week. We went through 60 or 70 cricket bats and a few that weren't sticking up to pick out the best one. And this one is an absolute cracker, so that's cricket bat number two. So moving on to cricket bat number three. So this is all sapwood, no heartwood, and you've got beautiful white willow. Lovely, clean, even grain. So we'll just try and count them up for you. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains on this particular one. It's a bit difficult to see as they are very light grains and very white willow but if you have a look through the toe beautifully straight and even through the toe and you can see there this is a pro blade so a very full convex profile no wood taken out and yeah you're looking at 36 millimeter edge 62 63 millimeter spine duckbill profile spine up into the handle and same setup with the handle as the other bats and if you have a look there gentle bow down towards the toe flat face and slightly rounded toe. So this one's 210.5 um, with the scuff sheet, so about 210 without. And it doesn't pick up as well as the concave back bats. Um, so if you're all about a nice light balance pickup, then I would go for the Colossus as the concave backs and the slightly higher middles are always going to pick up so much better. But if you like a full profile and you want all the wood in the hitting area, then the Pro Blade is going to be the one for you. Um, this one for me, probably picks up and probably feels about 210 maybe 29 and a half 210 so a little bit lighter than the dead weight but after picking up those super light bats this is always going to feel uh, a little bit heavier um, but the balance and the pickup is still good and we'll see how it taps up yeah absolutely goes absolutely flies again guys the benefit of the full back bats is you get a wider sweet spot and because there's no wood taken out you've got a wider hitting area so if you hit it slightly off centre you're going to still get plenty of power into the shot and um, so yeah very good bat that's cricket bat number three and again we've got an introductory special offer on these bats instead of the normal £340 they're going to be £289.99 we're also going to include free knocking in as well and you also get a free kit pack padded back cover and free UK mainland delivery um, so if you want to pick one of these bats up simply click the link in the description it'll take you over to the website and you can purchase one of these fantastic bats today and if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already then please do so so until next time I'll speak to you all soon bye bye